But they don't really gain much ground Whoa. from it. Oh, that's beautiful. Chobo oh, coming up huge. That's oh three. My. Good <laughs> night. The late ad. I do have some interesting news for both of you guys here at this desk. It looks like Chobo Me will be subbing in for Annie. What? Huh. Do we, do we know, do we know why? The little birdie that whispered in my ear only told me just that amount of information. Interesting. Whoa. Interesting little twist into everything we just said. <laughs> because That's Doug, you know, we, we were just talking about how, you know, C9, clearly the favorites. These This team has been playing together the longest out of everybody in the playoffs here. And now we're just throwing a wrench in that because you're, you're taking out one of their players, replacing with another, and you know, that just changes everything. It, it changes the dynamic of how you play out certain maps. It takes time to build trust and rapport with one another. Yeah, I think not only that, we've got to talk about what Annie's role was, right? And she was the primary Sova on the side of Cloud9. And I, the reason that that's so important to call out is that it's not like um, a raise, for example, or a secondary duelist whose job is, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna maybe create some space, but our job is to go and get kills, right? Like you play off of Sova's information, you play off of Sova's utility, and that's like, you have set pieces off of that too. So that's not a, a lift and land, right? That's not an easy, I'm just gonna swap somebody else in in the Sova roll and everything's gonna be fine and dandy. That's a big deal. Indeed, Potter, I, I, it's hard for me to even imagine how she's going to be plugging in. I feel like at this stage, do you just plug her exactly where Annie used to play everything? I mean, given how last minute of a change this seems to be, when Chobo used to play for CLG Red, she played Cypher and, and Sage on Icebox. So I, I, this isn't a perfect plug and play. It's not. It's not. And, and I mean, Doug was spot on. It. I think... If it was a duelist, it would just be simple, right? Duelists mm -hmm. are self-sufficient. You don't depend on the kit as a squad. Um, duelists kind of just depend on their own kit for themselves. That's why we call them self-sufficient, right? But with someone like Sova, Annie, uh, specifically for Cloud9 White, I know that a lot of their initial game plan right as the barriers go down is revolved completely around the Sova game. Way a huge kill coming out from Ari as the spike's gonna lean into our day. But Chobo, the recent oh! addition, Chobo. Good for two, looking for the third, not able to get it as Sari wins that out. Has to run back at the spike. However, as they all took the magical carpet ride all the way back in towards back A, they were able to get a kill with it. They Ooh. apply pressure from multiple sides. Exit have no shot or no chance really, but to go forward and guess what? Chobo is there to welcome them. That oh is indeed. Oh, it's starting off hot and heavy here, Doug. Yes, it is. Oh, I like this though. Whoa. Cloud9. Oh my goodness, they're investing a flash. They had to push him back, but sorry, Bun and Ellie are able to get a couple as they pushed in through short. Oh, I like that. The Whoa. flash was there, but the fault line was there in the window as well. As kills go back and forth across the middle of the map, and they're not slowing down. Artstar gets another one onto Jazzykins as well. You blink, you miss it. Both teams have already lost two. Now the map resets. She's got an opportunity. There's no way for them to get info. Whoa. Yeah, here we go. The Rolling Thunder comes out. Katsumi has not been tagged by it. She's still playing back sight. You see them trying to bang through the box. They understand she's there. Katsumi's good for one. 49 HP. It's not going to matter as Chobo shows up at just the right time. Homie, as you like to say, to get the kill. Leaving Marina in a 1v2. You've got the Hunter's Fury. She's still got a little bit of time, but it's ticking away here, Doug. <laughs> That's just so brutal, man. You drop one Astra Star, you tap out the gravity well. Great, okay, she's gonna go ahead and do it again. The Hunter Fury swings out. Katsumi does as well for Cloud9 to get to four. Whew. Okay, the start of that round was insane. I mean, the jet dashing right on through, the breach flash is coming in. And again, I have to reiterate, I, I like that. I like that. I, I don't oh, think Arian Arcus. She, she probably wishes she got a, a, a kill, at least, to reward her or, or to take away at least something. But the fact is, is it created a 3v3 right off the rip, and it created opportunities, right? So it's unfortunate that Starry Bun wasn't able to hold down the C, but either way, it's a decent look for Xset. I got a high-low angle here. Chobo has got to make sure she tucks. Oh, that's good damage coming through. And is. Chobo, nice. Beautiful pickup. This time we're gonna see Ellie kind of poke and prod her way towards this B. She's still got the two birds. Should be decent information. 
Off your feet. And there's the breach ult. Yeah, but the garage kill is huge. The garage kill is huge. Starry Bone drops. That's going to allow Cloud9 to work their way around. They do. Exit oh. does commit to the spike plant. Chobo shows up with two. Ellie's left alone. And look at her. She's being sworn. But I thought she was going to make something filthy. But they don't really gain much ground Whoa. from it. Oh, that's beautiful. Chobo oh. coming up huge. That's oh, three. My. Good <laughs> night. The late ad. For Cloud9, single-handedly putting this round on her back, down a long, able to get three, leaving Xed in shambles, an op in the hands of Ari. Art Star still alive. That was a, that was, I love the aggression though coming through for Jazzykins. Not only did she just kind of scare Xed and slow everything down, look at how much utility they're having yep. to use in order to regain this match control. Oh, beautiful <laughs> shot from Alexis. That's a big one. Numbers advantage back in favor of Cloud9. Oh. Oh no! Oh, Jazzykins got the info, but Sorry Bun gets the kill. They've worked their way on to A. Seconds left. You've also got someone cutting off rotations. Keep an eye on Sorry Bun on your mini map. Art Star's already dropped, so now they're going to be able to turn their attention that way. It's just down on to Sorry Bun. A 1v3. Is that a 1v2? Chobo's already on the defuse, though. She gets it at least to half, and she's going to try to stick it. The flash comes out. It's not going to matter. They were down 8 to 12. Potter, they force overtime. They win those two rounds. Cloud9 White show that even with the stand-in, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. They 2-0-X set to advance. Oh. Now it's all up to Stephanie. Going for the right side. Almost gets him on the turn. Will it be enough? Chobo fires in one. A second one not going to be their gravity while pulling him off, knowing the shots come through, the spike not being defused. <gasps> oh. oh, it still shocks just around the corner. Chobo says... Don't worry, I've got this under control. Calm, cool, collected. 10 to 5. Cloud 9 White start to pull away. And that's going to open up the site for sure. Make things a little bit more expensive for Cloud 9 White, but yeah. they're just in great positioning here for the attacker site. <laughs> I like it. And uh, as it should have been on the save round. We're running out of time a little bit. It's just an eco right now for Dignitas. At least they have a shock dart kill. But with that, it's still Cloud 9 White. Painting some green on this scoreboard on that yeah. kill feed, leaving Stephanie on her own. That's it. Whoop! Almost picking one up there. Chobo just dodging the paint shells. Again, they've Mel varies this Viper wall. They put up at A. Even on the eco, they go B. They're not leaving anything up to chance. Each round gets the same amount of attention here from Cloud9 White, no matter the score. If these two players from Cloud9 White get in, but you have plenty of utility, you have the flash, you have Mel. the paranoia. Oh no, not anymore. Oh no! Mel, what? Oh no! <gasps> The mind game bans. I cannot believe it. I mean, even though it wasn't, even if it, you didn't have a mind game rhythm, they already had so many players on this A site and one player playing towards elbow where, like I mentioned, yeah. they would have utility to play retake with the paranoia, with the with the recon dart. Absolutely amazing. Kills back and forth. Katsumi drops two, but not before her teammates go down in the mix. It's just going to be the 2v1 with Thea now. That's the flank coming in from Jazzy. Chobo already waiting in U-Haul. They're going to hear the drone. Can she skip it? Can she skip it? Oh, the oh. shot is she shot at it. No. Oh, no. It would have missed. Oh, 11 to 1. Remember, this is a huge pistol round. Pink shot is oh, going to no. push it out. It's going to be the 2v1 peak. And that is the frag coming in for Cloud9 White. The first round. Jazzykins decides to stay. Over the, over the toxic. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Joliana coming up big. So they can grab a judge here if somebody doesn't have a gun. They should come back and recoup all this this power. You can see Emily walking over. Rotation here though, Chobo Vans. Chobo just on the heels of Thea. Oh no. Oh no. Waiting, patience. Oh, Ooh. okay, okay. Realizing that was probably the only one based on the movement of her team. She and reflank it. Takes those shots. Yeah, the flank on the flank. How many times can the flank be flanked this round? Round 14. Two members, Sholiana Emily working towards showers now. This is going to be just a hangout for Chobo, very close to showers, so they're both checking the same spot, basically. So so oh, the insta headshot Defenders transfer win. from Chobo, the triple kill from the sub, the lock in of the series, and Cloud9 White will continue their upper bracket run in game chain. Wow. Just wow. Even a 2v2 yeah. is so what nice. What a showing.
They, you, you didn't really see it on the screen, but just from that mini-map, how they cleared the Trailblazer and the Owl Drone at the same time towards Short and through Teleporter to look at Sands, just understanding that there's potentially Long B or Showers Control, and it's showing me...